Look at this glorious ballet of death. Ah, yes, the ballet of the spark. It is so glorious. Witness beauty. <laughs> ah! MCD here could be. F I'm pretty sure he's within LOS. He's not. <laughs> All right. Flora's got the angle. The Discord orb has been given over to MCD. IDK, I think upon seeing Flora here, knows that they're not in shield bash range, so they send out the armor pack here to heal MCD. So all Flora's got to do here is quickly execute MCD after hitting them with the EMP. <laughs> they did not hit MCD with the EMP. It's okay, you can try your luck with IDK. Just have have some good fun breaking through the armor. And Flora dies. Oh no, how embarrassing. How are you missing as slow as hells and yada? No, not like this. IDK is just too intimidating. You can't get close to MCD. Flora's moved over from the Sombra, of course, in shame. Having missed that EMP, the rest of Excelsior were like, listen, Flora, we don't think we're going to trust you with any brain play heroes from now on. So why don't you just take the big old rifle and you point it at the enemies and you click on them, okay? Can you handle that, son? <laughs> what? Oh my god. How do you die to this? Do you just go from like 100 to 0 in like 0 seconds? Let me have a look at this. Ivy takes the peak. Oh, this is very wide for a peak. Ivy, you greed. Look at where everyone else is. Everyone else is ready to be within Yakpung shielding distance. Ivy, no, no, no such fear. Ivy fears no man. It's time to dance. It's time to freeze. It's time to die. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that is slightly unlucky in terms of shield timings, but that was also such a greedy peak. Why are you out there? I think it got hit by both a McCree and an Architect headshot. That is an unforgivably greedy peak. Why are you throwing away your advantages? Now, now for some reason, they're opting into the four versus six. Because remember, Bianca's back here. These guys are going to be back much faster. <laughs> About that Earth Shadow you were planning. What if it was in the ceiling instead? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm helping. All right. I, I did a lot of damage to the ice wall. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Wait. Why are you putting Blizzard in a doorway? It's going to be blocked this way and blocked this way. What are you doing? Yakpug actively re-engages with the blizzard. He doesn't actually get blizzarded when he's like here. But then he's like, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit wider so I get that LOS. What the hell is this? Also, this blizzard is drunk. Snowball, we need to have a talk. It's hurting your family. Or they can wall it. Wait. They're going to blizzard the wall. That was so fucking close. Hmm. But let's have a look at the overall mathematics of this approach. So, guys, I've decided I'm going to blizzard this wall I just put up. You don't think there's any chance for trying to go around this wall, do you? Nah, it'll be fine. They won't be using speed boost to move that, uh, to move that dead eye. No, they'll all be inside the blizzard. <laughs> and by all, I mean us will be inside the blizzard. Gushway decides to go for the slam. Wait, Yakpung! What? He was aiming his shield upwards, so it hit him with the Earth Shatter. But why were you aiming your shield upwards, pray tell? Lord Yak of Pungington? Look at this. So, Yakpung goes low. They send out the bomb. Wait, was it because he was trying to shield... I thought it might be because he was trying to shield like Bernard playing from high ground, but no. Bernard's already passed him. Yakpung brings out the shield again to... I don't know why he's aiming his shield up. He's come out to block the shatter. It's like, oh yes, I know exactly where that earth shadow will be. It will be in the fucking air. Yes, Yakpung. Yes, it will. Now let's see who's on the ground. <gasps> oh! 
It's you. Wait. Is Ivy about to block the damage boosted fire strike from Yakpum? <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. The dead eye. The dead eye? The dead eye. All right. So basically what they're looking for here, I assume, is IDK to boop Ivy out of the shield. All right, IDK. Get it done. Oh, never mind. They're a little bit late on it. Or rather, probably a little bit early on Godspeed's part for the actual shooting. They probably could have got something done here, but... There was a plan, and then they elected immediately after not to follow the plan. One of my favorite parts of the Hangzhou Spark. Wait, what? Where, where is it? Hello? Oh, there it is. What? Why have you put it in the corner? Why have you made it so that it won't have LOS on the people who are inside this area? Who's just going to freeze? In fact, you're getting some wonky LOS from this as well. This might only freeze IDK. What in the world am I looking at? Okay, let me fucking have a look at this again. All right, Ivy. Dummy. Moron Supreme. So, they're within the defense matrix. So, Ivy thinks, ah, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Oh, they get booped, I see. Didn't try spinning. Doesn't know the good trick. That boop may have actually saved them from bird eye eating the blizzard. <laughs> but it still makes the blizzard useless, so it's fine. And now for blizzard for two. Blizzard for two. Yes, I know words. I know lots of words. So architect brings out the blizzard, narrowly avoids it both getting eaten as it is below the defense matrix of Bianca and it getting charged out and then pops ice block to stop the Yakpung charge right next to the blizzard. Yakpung at this point is what is medically known as fucked. Wait, can they break LOS on this blizzard? <gasps> they can break LOS on the blizzard. Why do you guys put them in these silly corners? Man, y'all need to stop putting Blizzard in these fucking corners. You made... Oh, hello. Can it be blocked? Yakpung, this time, don't shield upwards. Or better yet, don't shield at all. <laughs> nice wall. It's okay. We got the only shield we need. Oh, man. The exchange of self-destructing mechazoids. Architect is frozen. Gets the ice block. Will it block it for Bernar? I feel like Bernar has miscalculated where this bomb is going to land. Bernar has miscalculated where this bomb is going to land. <laughs> ah, it is at this point that Godspeed decides that it is time to play Widowmaker. An interesting choice in the Rush versus Rush mirror. We shall see how it goes. So essentially, what Spark have done is they've had a look at their wind condition, which is the slam, and said, you know what, we're going to get rid of both our CC and our primary shield break with McCree. You know what, Spark? You might be geniuses. But Gushui knew about it. Wait, Architect, do not get charged out of this blizzard. No. Oh, no, Architect. You did so well to kill Jonak, and now you get charged out of your blizzard. No. <laughs> you just isolated Yakpung. Wait, what is this Tokyo Drift? Oh <laughs> and then Yakpung gets up over there. What? <laughs> and now Yakpung is on top of Godspeed. <laughs> yes, hard scope, my little prey. Hard scope so I can destroy you with my hammer. Who? Wh what's he doing here? <laughs> no one expects Yakpung Tokyo Drift. Ah, now it's Gushui's turn for a charge. Let's see how he does. Oh, misses for first attempt, but what about second attempt? Second attempt works! Oh, right heart charge. What a fun and balanced mechanic. <laughs> Tee him up, knock him down. Then I'll goes up high. Oh, and drops off the bomb. Okay, Yagpa. This is one where you can shield upwards, remember? Okay, okay. The white wall comes up. I guess we were trying to isolate Yagpa. And I think Ivy's already an ice block, so this might be a little bit uh, early. This could be bad news. It's bad news. Wait, Yakpung doesn't shield upwards. Oh no, it's for inverse Yakpung. I said it was okay to shield upwards this time, Yakpung. No. No, my boy. Look what they've done to my boy. So Yakpung swings the shield around. <laughs> and aims it down low, baby. <laughs> 
Oh, it looks like, please tilt it up just a little bit. I'm crouching to make it easier for you. I hate you so much. And now Yakpun gets slammed. Oh, Yakpun. No, Yakpun goes for a slam. I thought that the Earth Shatter would be for one from the team that knows he no longer has a shield. But no, Yakpun goes for the 180 slam. And gets Ghostway who strafes into it. What? 